I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be creating attraction with women who are in groups of people. Now, it work, this may be, say, a group of like seven to ten people. Maybe you know a couple of the people in the group, but there's a lot of them that you don't know. Or maybe you don't know any of them, and you want to know how to go and open up this group and become a part of it because there's a girl in this group that you like. So there's a couple of different ways that you can go about it. And I got an email here from a guy who has a question about this particular situation. And he says, Hi, Corey. I love your stuff. Keep it coming. Thank you very much, and I will. He says, I'm 25 years old, and I've had a lot of success with women, but I have noticed that I have one glaring weakness. While I am great in one-on-one -on -one situations, I am not very good with medium-sized groups, like the times where there are 7 to 10 single guys and girls all sitting at a table drinking beers and having a conversation. I don't have a dominant personality and I get anxious when I have to speak loudly to groups. I'd say bullshit. Being dominant is something that is completely natural and innate to you. You just simply haven't practiced it enough and your big problem is that you give a fuck what other people think about you. And at the end of the day, it doesn't fucking matter. And so when you look at a group of people or with a bunch of guys and girls, yeah, there's probably some that know each other. They're, but what's going to happen is most of those girls are just all those guys that are in the group. They're strictly just guy friends, and they're probably not hooking up with any of them. So there's several ways that you can go about it. If you see a girl you like, you can just walk right over to her and say, "Hey, you're you're absolutely gorgeous," and take her hand and say, "Come have a dance with me." Or you can go up to her and say, "You're absolutely stunning. Would you like to dance with me?" And just invite her over to come and dance with you. That's all you have to do, and then you can completely pull her away from the group. Because ideally, the best situation is, is at the end of the day, if you're trying to seduce a girl, you want to get her away from her group of friends because her group of friends can totally interfere, cock block, and totally fuck up you being there together. But if you you want to take the low risk approach, which is you want to talk to the group and make sure she doesn't have a boyfriend first off, then you just sit down and and it's like especially like in your particular case, you say some of these people that you know, but most of them that you don't. And so, I've always been the kind of person that I like to sit down and talk and kind of and just listen to people initially because if you're a great listener and you just ask questions because remember whoever is asking questions is the person that is in charge of the group and so if, if you sit down with a group of people and you start asking things like if they're talking about dating or they're talking about relationships then you, can, then you just say what's the craziest place you ever had sex in a public place and get people to start talking about it and just simply asking questions, because if you start asking questions and then you get everybody to start talking about what you just asked, or you get a group's opinion on things about whatever particular topic that you want to ask about, relationships or where is a great, the most, the most erotic place you ever had sex in a public place, asking them a question like that, you'll get a response from everybody. And especially women love to talk about dating and relationships in general. And so when you start asking those kinds of things and then the whole group chimes in, since you're the one that's asking questions, you're now totally in control of that conversation and you can lead it to where you want it to go. And if you see a girl that you like and, and as you're talking to them, you can kind of see whether or not she's actually dating any of those particular guys. You can talk to maybe some of the friends of the girls that are sitting next to the girl that you're interested in because this way you can win them over by talking or not so much doing the talking but asking the questions and getting the group to talk because as you do that then you can kind of get the lay of the land of what's going on and say what which of you girls are single you can come right out and say that which of you girls are out which of you girls are single and you're looking to meet a guy and they'll tell you and, and usually they'll, they'll all point and they'll say so and so single and then you can know right away who's single. You say, hey, well, why don't you come on the dance floor with me? Let's go tear it up. Even if you can't dance, you dance like a total fucking idiot. So what? Just the fact that you're confident enough to go out to the dance floor and say, I'm going to totally fucking embarrass you as you're walking out to the dance floor because I can't dance for shit. So let's have, some, let's have a good time. But I don't give a shit what people think of me. And, and just fucking go for it. And have, have some fun with her. And she'll appreciate the fact that even though you dance like fucking Steve Urkel, that you got the balls to go out there and, and let everybody fucking laugh at you because you don't give a shit. Have a good time. Women like women are not so much attracted to your looks as they are attracted to masculine qualities. And that's an easy way to, to figure out. I mean, there's I give you a couple different scenarios, a couple different ways. I mean, I like the direct approach, but 
if you're unsure of yourself, you're just kind of new to these things, you can kind of sit in on the group, start asking opinions on things, or if you know somebody in the group, go talk, hey, how are you? Give, you know, give a hug or shake the hand of whoever you happen to know. Sit down and, and just start asking people, hey, what's your names? And just get people to introduce themselves. Just by simply asking people's names without volunteering yours to begin with, then you're, you've just completely commandeered that conversation. Now everybody's introducing themselves to you. And then you say, hey, my name's Corey, or, or my name's Bob, or my name is George, whatever your name happens to be. And if you continue asking questions, you'll continue to guide where the conversation goes. And you're going to have a lot of fun with it. You can pretty much take over the conversation, especially if you can throw some cool questions out there to get some opinions of the group and guide where it goes. And then you can kind of pick up on who's single. I mean, I'm very bold, and I just come right out, and I go for the girl that I want. And if she's got a boyfriend, I'll say, this is your boyfriend? I like, oh, hey, dude, it's nice to meet you. I didn't know him. It's like, your girlfriend is an absolute fucking rock star goddess, dude. And much respect to you dude you're a fucking stud i'm fucking humble to be in your presence and when you communicate like that you communicate respect to another male you just completely built up his girl by saying how amazing and how beautiful she is and what a fucking awesome stud he must be because he's with this awesome girl and that you respect him and you're like dude you're a fucking stud you got any advice on chicks i'm happy to listen because you obviously got the hottest girl in here and what how'd you get her Ask them that question. It's a great way to roll into it, especially if she's with her boyfriend. But you got to go at your own pace and what your own level of comfort is and just have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Be smiling and have a good time. So if you have a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic that you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which is going to be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, your challenges. And you just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the internet. And I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers. But be patient and I will get back to you. And if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the products tab, which is going to be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, go to my website. And underneath the email sign up box on the right hand side, there will be a link that will take you to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. You don't have to have a Kindle device to read my Kindle book. All you have to do is download one of their free apps. And so when you get to the download page, on the right-hand side, there will be a button that will open up a window where you can download an app for your Android smartphone, your iPhone, your Mac, your PC, your iPad, your Android tablet, whatever device you want. Download the app that's appropriate for it. It takes a matter of seconds to download and install it. And it only takes a few more seconds after that to download my book. You'll be reading it in no time. And I will talk to you soon.